हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज मास मोमेंट ऑफ नर्शिया ऑफ सर्कुलर प्लेट सो हाउ टू फाइंड मास मोमेंट ऑफ नर्शिया ऑफ सर्कुलर प्लेट लेटस सी सो सपोज दिस इज द सर्कुलर प्लेट गिवन टू अस एंड इट्स थिकनेस इज टी यूनिट्स एंड लेटस से इट्स रेडियस इज आर यूनिट्स सो सपोज वी हैव ड्रॉन द सेंटर आल्सो एंड फ्रॉम दैट सेंटर थ्री एक्सिस आर शोन एक्सिस ए डैश ए बी B dash these two axes are in the plane of the circular uh, disc, but axis C C dash is perpendicular to the plane of circular disc. So let us first uh, uh, solve for mass moment of inertia of the circular disc along uh, its axis A A dash, which is in its own plane. Now uh, what we have to do again, we will use same fundamental. We will write rho t into area moment of inertia of this particular uh, circular face about the same axis. A A dash. So that is written over here. Rho t area moment of inertia about the circular disc about same axis A A dash. Now we know that area moment of inertia of any circular face about the axis in its own plane is given by pi r four by four. This you should remember. This is the area moment of inertia of a circular area about the axis passing through its own plane. So that is A dash A. So what further we will do? We will take pi r square common. So it will become pi rho t pi r square into r square by four. Now look over here. Pi r square is the area. That is the area of the circular uh, of the circular area. That is circular area pi r square. If we will multiply that area by thickness, that will become volume. So mass per unit volume rho into volume will give you the mass of the circular disc. So we have replaced this term by m. That is the mass of the circular disc. It means we got our answer m r square by four. It means moment of inertia of a circular disc about uh, axis A A dash passing through its own plane is equal to m r square by four. Now let us find moment of mass moment of inertia of the circular disc about second axis that is B B dash. It will be exactly same. Be why? Because uh, this is a circular face. So if you draw any axis in its plane at any angle, so this mass moment of inertia will still remain same. So about these two axis that is A dash A B B dash, it will be equal to m r square by four. Now, if we have to find mass moment of inertia of a circular disc about the axis which is um, perpendicular to its plane, so we have to apply again uh, perpendicular axis theorem. So, mass moment of inertia of this particular uh, circular disc about uh, the axis perpendicular to its own plane will be equal to mass moment of inertia of the circular disc about A A dash and plus about B B dash. So, this is what we have written over here. So, when you will Put the this value over here. M R square by four plus M R square by four. You will get your answer M R square by two. So this is the mass moment of inertia of the circular disc about the axis perpendicular to its own plane. So I hope uh, this particular topic is clear to you. Thank you very much.